Namibia, a vast and sparsely populated country in southern Africa, famous for its landscapes ranging from dense bush to open plains. Namibia's largest economic sectors, mining, fishing, manufacturing, tourism and agriculture, are very closely linked to its land. However, this often also involves challenges. In the case of agriculture, one of the major challenges is bush encroachment. It is defined as the invasion or thickening of woody species, resulting in a reduction of the natural grass vegetation, a decrease in biodiversity and a decrease in agricultural carrying capacity. Bush encroachment has increased significantly in Namibia over past decades, affecting an area of about 26 to 30 million hectares of land. Overgrazing is thought to be a key driver of bush encroachment. Other contributors are the displacement of browsers by grazing livestock, the suppression of high-intensity fires due to cattle farming, and rainfall and its variability. Annual losses as a result of decline in the carrying capacity of Namibia's rangelands is estimated at more than 1 billion Namibian dollars, or 76 million US dollars per annum. But bush encroachment not only affects the agricultural sector, it also has negative impacts on other key ecosystem services. Namibia used to be an open savanna area uh, with scattered vegetation or woody vegetation, uh, but due to the bush encroachment uh, today, a uh, big area of Namibia, they say about 30% uh, or so of uh, rangeland uh, of Namibia is actually uh, covered by bush encroachment. Uh, and uh, it is a, a problem when it comes to carrying capacity of the land. Water resource management is also affected because the the balance of, of, of water penetration and the consumption is actually disturbed. Bush encroachment is a serious problem for the environment, but also for the livelihoods of people. The overgrowth of bush can be managed through bush control. This means thinning of the bush population by mechanical or manual removal. Both are cost intensive. Farmers across the country are facing a predicament. Not actively controlling and reducing the bush population would inevitably drive them out of business. But the costs of bush control are high and often equal to the price of land. What is the way out of this dilemma? In a bilateral cooperation, the Namibian and German governments implement a comprehensive national program for bush control and biomass utilization, the Support to Debushing Project. On behalf of the project and based on the Economics of Land Degradation Initiatives approach, the Namibia Nature Foundation conducted a study to investigate the estimated costs and benefits of bush thinning. The result, bush control generates benefits for livestock production, but also positively affects groundwater recharge, tourism opportunities, charcoal and firewood production, and clean electricity generation, as well as related value addition opportunities. The Namibia Nature Foundation looked at the economics of land degradation, both nationally and uh, regionally. On a national level, we found that there was about 40 billion uh, Namibian dollars that could be gained and on a regional level, we found that there's about five billion Namibian dollars in the Ochos on Jupa region, which is one of the most bush encroached uh, areas of Namibia. That's around 400,000 US, and those gains come from improved groundwater recharge, uh, improved ecosystems, uh, wildlife viewing, etc. And on top of that, there would also be uh, gains from value addition uh, within the industry and multiply effects giving rise to greater economic activity and social uh, upliftment. In one of the most severely affected regions, Ochotsonjupa, several scenarios have been explored to establish the range of costs, benefits and net benefits that can be expected under different assumptions and outcomes. Under central case assumptions, bush control can generate positive annual economic effects after an investment period of approximately 10 years. 
Bush control and biomass utilization have significant net benefits in the total economic value sense. In addition, bush harvesting and processing operations could support an estimated 10,000 jobs. The economic assessment of land degradation shows that bush control and biomass utilization has the potential to generate substantial net benefits and thereby to contribute to Namibia's social welfare and economic growth, making an important contribution to a sustainable future.